Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I am going to be taking a look at this great little uh, Holland anvil swedge block. Now Greg and Hobie sent this over to me just free of charge. They wanted to take and support the channel and throw a little love my way and just send me a swedge block. So thank you to, for that and full disclosure uh, there. So uh, I'm not getting paid to make this video, um, nor was there any conversation whatsoever about me making a review on this, uh, but they just sent it to me as a free gift and I thought it was cool. So I figured I'd shout them out and do a little video on it. I'll leave a link to their website. I don't get any affiliate commission or anything like that, but I'll leave a link to their website so you can go check out their great products. So I'm going to be using this today to basically make a collar weld, but a little different kind of collar weld, uh, something that uh, most smiths have forgotten about that's been done for a long time is basically making a cam. So this is an offsetted collar that is going to be welded to this bar and you guys will be seeing that in the video here. So uh, in the video obviously I haven't took the time to dress any of this. This is actually sat in my shop for about four weeks, about basically about a month. This has been in my shop and I haven't got a chance to work on it. Uh, you, you know, work on it yet, and so it's just kind of been rusting up. But whenever you get yours, it's this nice painted gray color. Um, I think it's just sandblasted, um, and looks really sharp, looks real nice. But of course, mine's now get developing a layer of rust on it, like all the tools in my shop. So yeah, I haven't cleaned up any of the edges, so everything's still kind of sharp from the mill yet. Uh, so any type of casting. Thing like this if you want to have really smooth ironwork out of it you do need to dress all the edges down I have a video specifically on how to dress a swedge block I will leave that linked up in the description as well and I'll probably put a card on screen for it but yeah on the swedge block you got a lot of great 60 degree V swedges um, you got a scroll starter on one edge you got some 90 degree swedges you have some uh, half rounds. Uh, I find those in the 90s to be the most useful in my shop. And then you also have a bowl depression on one side, and then you have a couple little spoon options, some tablespoon options and uh, other things like that if you want to make like a coffee scoop or otherwise some silverware. So pretty awesome. But what am I going to use this swedge block for? Basically, I'm probably going to use this swedge block most under the fly press that you see in the background of this video here. I will most likely be using this swedge block underneath there because it's nice and short. It's a nice small block and it'll work for great little one time where I can just go boom and, you know, knock something down in the dies. Uh, I have some videos on that as well. We'll check out the fly fly press playlist series and you'll see a whole tooling video where I've tooled that thing up to the hilt um, and shared some of the journey on there. So, but anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you Holland Anvil for shipping this out to me um, as a free gift. I greatly appreciate that. Um, I'm having a little bit of fun with it here in the shop. And for those of you wondering about this cam, this cam is going to be used in a gate mechanism. Uh, that I'll be making here sometime in the future. And this is just a real quick test run to see if I have, like the size of the materials. But uh, so I'm not, e this isn't even finished up or the way that it is. It'll have a lot of cleanup work to do on it. But if you ever need to take and create a cam in something for a gate latch mechanism, for a lock, for something where you might have um, maybe you're playing around with a little bit of gearing in your ironwork. This is how you would go about it. You would actually forge weld on a collar, a separate piece. You would make like a collar weld, forge it all off onto one side. It's a little different than if you had a regular collar. A collar would go all the way around the whole entire piece. Um, you know, but that's wasteful of material when all you need is half of that uh, to actually be welded. So again, just making a little C-clip and then forge welding that onto a bar can actually be pretty fun and can develop a lot of interesting things. One other use for this is making a bottom die or an open die where you need to take and reproduce frontal elements. Um, let's say like on a pair of strap hinges, if you will, and you want to produce a bar, right? So maybe you got a spade in on the end and you want to take and produce a mid bar somewhere that is per it, that is stands up on it, well, it'd be handy to take and have a die that already has a bar depression down in it. So when you forge your hinge down into that depression to get it started, it already fills out that little cavity. Um, 
and, and so therefore it can elevate your ironwork and you can do all sorts of different stuff way more than what you know <laughs> we're going to cover in this video so thank you to all the channel members that make this content possible thank you for watching this video if you like this content subscribe and all that jazz for more um, as always i greatly appreciate each and every last one of you i hope god blesses you and we'll catch you all in the next one thanks so much for watching